Uh, hello, and welcome to another Thought of the Day. Today, probably with some footage from a playthrough I've recently been recording of Guru Min, A Monstrous Adventure. Uh, today's subject is... I don't know. I don't really know what to call it at the moment. Um, Taking damage in games? I don't know. No, I don't know what to call it. But the subject is... When I take damage in games... Yeah? Like, not... Not every game, like obviously some games like RPGs and stuff, JRPGs, in turn-based combat, you're going to take damage and it's just unavoidable. But I've been recording Gurumin, and like, I take plenty of damage in it, and it's not really a big deal, but for some reason it, it annoys me, because the damage feels like it should be avoidable, and yet, like, because of maybe an, an attack animation not ending soon enough for me to dodge out of the way and as a result I take two damage out of my 70 health or something I get annoyed and I don't know why and it's really starting to bother me I mean the game itself is far from perfect it's got a lot of glaring issues but in terms of difficulty it doesn't really seem that hard there are some awkward moments especially some of the bosses but I don't know it doesn't annoy me when I take damage in an East game, so why does it bother me in Gurumin? I guess because a lot of the time it feels like I couldn't avoid damage even if I tried in that situation. But you're not supposed to be able to always avoid damage. You know, sometimes damage is to be expected. And in this game it seems like, you know, it doesn't really make that big a difference. You get plenty of healing items, you got plenty of health, and yeah, it's not that big a deal. So why does it annoy me? I don't understand. And like, I'm well aware that it shouldn't annoy me, and yet it still does. I don't, I don't get it, I don't like it, and that annoys me as well. It annoys me that I get annoyed so easily. This is a game, it doesn't matter. Even if it is a game where you should be able to avoid all damage, like Dark Souls or something, it doesn't matter. It's a game, and even I personally dislike it when people get angry at games, because it's just a game. On a side note, that's that's kind of why one of my favourite live streamers lately is Lobos Jr., as in L-O-B-O-S-J-R, because he doesn't really seem to get angry at games, because he understands. But I don't get it. I understand it too, and yet I can't help it. Uh, I guess in a way it's just kind of natural instinct, you know, or something. Like, a fail to, um, not a fail, a failure to do something is like a failure to be skill. But nah, I don't know. At the end of the day, you know, it's not going to keep me up at night. It just means some of the commentary is a bit... Oh, for fuck's sake, I couldn't get out of the attack animation fast enough, so I don't know how I'm supposed to dodge that. Doesn't matter, you only took two damage or something. Just calm down. Calm down. Ugh, I do wish I could during the playthroughs though. Because I don't want to come across as just another angry gamer. Like, even... It, it kind of makes me want to try one of those popular FPSs like Overwatch or, or Call of Duty just to, like, see what happens. You know, the, the, the game's infamous for having angry gamers just because you you got killed. It's like, oh, fuck you, man, you're cheating. No, you're just not perfect at the game. Or maybe they are cheating, but most of the time it's probably just you are not perfect at the game. And I wonder, I wonder if that would be any different. I'm not going to, because I don't want to play any of them, but, you know, I just wonder what my brain would do. <sighs> it's annoying. But I'm sure it's fine anyway. It's just another excuse to do a, a thought of the moment, or thought of the day. Is that what it's called? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Because I don't... I don't usually have thoughts of the day. Or at least not ones that are worth talking about. And this one is game related, so I guess it's worth it. Anyway, in the end, in the playthroughs, some, there are some people who like angry commentary anyway, and frustration. That's why I Wanna Be The games are quite popular. Or were back in the day. Maybe still are. Everyone likes a nice bit of rage. I just wish it wasn't so much serious rage in my on my side of things. 
Like, I mean, it's not like I completely flip my lid during this playthrough or anything. It's just some mild frustrations, and it kind of decreases the enjoyment of the game, even though it's not the game's fault. You know, it, you're expected to take damage sometimes in games. Ah, well, maybe in the next recording session I will try harder to keep my um, hair on. Because hair is valuable, you see. Even though I'm supposed to be a dragon, and dragons often don't have hair. Oh. Oh dear. Maybe I should lose it all then. Maybe I'll calm down then, because I won't have any hair to keep me angry. Because if you've got no hair to lose, how can you lose your hair over something? You see, that's the trick. Go bald. Be a dragon. Bing! Yeah, that's my advice to you today. Word of advice. Go bald. Be a dragon. So thanks for watching and listening. Yeah, mostly listening. And I hope you look forward to this playthrough anyway, even though it's far in the distant future. Yeah, it should be coming this year at least, I think. Maybe. Late in the year, or early next year. I don't know. I've been recording a lot lately. Anyway, bye. Have a good day, everyone. Have a good week. And have a good however many days it is until I next see you. Yeah. No, that's what I say at the end of my live streams. This isn't a live stream, so it doesn't quite work here, because I'll see you, like, tomorrow with more videos. Bye!